Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. And welcome to the Portsmouth City Public Schools 2021 Teacher of the Year Ceremony. My name is Dr. Jacqueline Walker, and I will be your mistress of ceremonies for this evening. I would like to welcome everyone with a task, but also with a poem. If everyone could close their eyes and think of a pivotal moment in their academic life when a teacher helped or inspired you. It could have been your kindergarten teacher that helped you learn your alphabet, or your seventh grade science teacher that helped you cope with the adolescent blues, or your high school government teacher that wrote that stellar recommendation that landed you a scholarship at your dream college or university. Now, before you open your eyes, I want you to bring that person to the forefront of your mind. And as you begin to open your eyes in five, four, three, two, one, I want you to look around the room and see the smiles on faces because that person made a difference, not only in your life, but in the lives of others. In addition, even though that same person may not be in the room with you today, then these Teacher of the Year candidates possess some of the same qualities and attributes, but most definitely their quest for student success. Lastly, I want to recite a poem called Teachers by Kevin William Huff. Paint their minds and guide their thoughts, share their achievements and advise their faults. Inspire a love of knowledge and truth as you light the path which leads our youth. For our future brightens with each lesson you teach, each smile you lengthen, each goal that you reach. For the dawn of each poet, each philosopher and king begins with a teacher and a wisdom that they bring. And I want you to give a round of applause for every Teacher of the Year candidate that is in here today. Thank you. We will now have the Pledge of Allegiance by Mr. M. Craig Hill, the Coordinator of Career and Technical Education, followed by the acknowledgement of special guests by Dr. Fiona Nichols, the Coordinator of Mathematics, and then we will have the acknowledgement from the Portsmouth School Board from Reverend Cardell C. Patillo, Jr., the Chair of the Portsmouth City School Board. Good evening. First, let me just say how proud I am of Dr. Walker. She was a former student of mine, so thank you for that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the presentation of colors and remain standing for the playing of the national anthem followed by the Pledge of Allegiance.
please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America to the, and to the republic to which it stands, one nation, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. And would Dr. Fiona Nichols please come up? Good evening. And welcome. I'm a little shorter than Craig was over there. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce some special guests we have with us this evening. First of all, we have some members from City Council. We have our Mayor, the Honorable Shannon Glover. We have the Vice Mayor, DeAndre Barnes. Lisa Lucas Burke. And Christopher Woodard. Thank you all. We also have members of our school board. School board chair, Reverend Cardell Patillo. <laughs> Vice chair, Lakeisha Clue Atkinson. Tamara Shoemake. Yolanda Thomas. Vernon Tillich, and Costello Williams. We also have with us our superintendent, Dr. Eli Bracey, and members of the superintendent's, ca superintendent's cabinet, Dr. Anita Wynn, assistant superintendent for curriculum and instruction. Uh, Mr. Theo Falk, Chief Financial Officer. <laughs> Jessica Duran, Executive Director for Human Resources. Lauren Nolasco, Director of Communications. And Dr. Jerry Simmons, Director of Auxiliary Services. And hopefully we did not overlook anybody. <laughs> okay, thank you. I've accomplished my first goal by not falling up the steps. Good evening. Good evening. I bring you greetings on behalf of the Portsmouth City School Board. We also like to say congratulations to all of our honorees on this evening. Can we give all of them a round of applause? Not only do you come to school and teach our most prized possessions? But as my favorite book says, you did it in a more excellent way. And we thank you. Teachers are instrumental in the growth, not only of our school division, but our city, our state, and our country. You all provide a bunch of firsts for our students. For some of our students, you were the first person to ever truly encourage them. For some of our students, you were the first, sadly, to show them genuine love. Because of you, many of our students have dreams they never thought they would ever have. They have glimmers of hope in their eyes that were once not there. You are truly our most prized possessions. You don't always get paid what you should get paid. <laughs> but the expectation is on you to be teachers, counselors, marriage therapists, social service workers, all wrapped in one. And we truly appreciate you. 
They say that teachers have three loves. They have the love of learning, the love of learners, and the love of bringing those two loves together. And if most students are like me, you provided that guidance and that encouragement that was needed so much. And I say to you, not only did you provide that as my first, you also provided my first girlfriend. Oh, I was about eight years old. Oh, Miss South Hall had the prettiest eyes. <laughs> but thank you. You are truly the real MVPs in this city and in this school division. And on behalf of the Portsmouth City School Board, we truly love you, we thank you, and we will continue to fight on your behalf. God bless you and have a great evening. We will now have the Teacher of the Year addressed by Ms. Epiphany B. Hill, the 2020 Portsmouth Division-wide Teacher of the Year, followed by the introduction of the 2021 Teachers of the Year from Ms. Khadijah Q. Alexander, the Coordinator of Reading and English, followed by the introduction of 2021 Division winners from Dr. Anita S. Wynn, the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction. Good evening, everyone. It is an honor to be among Portsmouth Public School's finest teachers. I'm excited that I have the privilege to be able to join you tonight on such a special occasion. On March 13th, which ooh, seems like it was so long ago, but not really, um, it changed our world completely as teachers. Um, the world pretty much stopped. School shut down, stores shut down. I couldn't get my eyebrows done anymore. <laughs> so it just seemed like, I said, like everything stopped. But the one thing that teachers did not do, we didn't stop. Within a week's time, many of us got onto Google Classrooms. We learned how to operate Zoom, which was completely new to me. I only knew what FaceTime was at the time. Um, hopped on Zoom, reached out to our students, started calling parents, and continued to teach the best way we knew how. Um, the summer came, but we didn't stop. We continued to do professional development. We continued to do all sorts of things to try to at least bring some sense of normalcy to teaching still, even though we knew it was gonna look slightly different. Um, we entered into this school year, this past school year, the 2020-2021 school year, and we had to learn new platforms. Again, utilizing Zoom, those breakout rooms, um, Nearpod. I'm pretty sure we're all experts in that by now. It has not been an easy feat, but you guys have made it look absolutely flawless. I had the opportunity to, to visit some of your classrooms and you guys did an excellent job. While this year has been completely different, your dedication and hard work did not waver and your efforts did not go unnoticed. Recently, I stumbled upon this quote that I think sums up the very essence of educators. Good teachers are like candles. They consume themselves to light the path for others by Mustafa Ataturk. We are selfless as teachers, as educators. We pour so much into our students and I don't think that there's anything that we wouldn't do for them. Um, I'm pretty sure you have gotten emails at 10.30 in the evening that you still answered just because you wanted to be that support for your students. And I'm, I know that they are grateful. And if you're like me, there has not been a minute that you turned off your camera at the end of the day and put your head down on your kitchen table, trying to figure out how you were going to must up the strength to go on the next day. But you did, and you did so flawlessly. And you persevered, and you made learning fun and interesting for your students. And you continue to go above and beyond all the time. So I just wanted to say congratulations to not only the 2021 teachers, but also the 2020 teachers as well. Congratulations on your recognition, and you all are more than deserving of this honor. Thank you.
finally get to take this mask off. Whew, it's hot. All right. Virtually Unstoppable Above and Beyond is the name of this year's Teacher of the Year program. I am happy to present to you each school's 2021 Teacher of the Year. Teachers, please stand as your name is called and come forward to receive your award. After you receive your award and take your picture with the division superintendent, you will have your moment in the spotlight, after which you may return to your seat as the next school's winner is announced. This is your shining moment. Dr. Bracey, will you please come forth? We will begin with our first school. We have Ronnie Ratcliffe, physical education teacher at Brighton Elementary School. He has 10 years of educational experience. Mr. Ratcliffe believes that when you pour your heart into your lessons, strategies, and relationships, you make a lasting life-changing impact on children. He stated that the most important best practice is to make learning active and engaging. Ronnie Ratcliffe. Next, we have Monique Taylor, a first grade teacher at Churchland Academy Elementary School and an elementary school teacher of the year finalist. She has 27 years of educational experience. If you visit Mrs. Taylor's classroom, you will see her using a hands-on approach to learning. She will have her students working on activities that are creative and worthwhile. She consistently holds herself accountable for the performance of her students. She takes pride in constantly learning new things that she can give more to her students. We have Monique Taylor. Next up, we have Shaylin A. Perrier Ross a sixth grade teacher at Churchland Elementary School with 11 years of experience. She believes that all students need someone who believes in that they can. She begins the year every day with a clean slate to remove barriers from students with negative school experiences. She provides her students with frequent and timely feedback. Her goal is for her students to see themselves as capable learners. We have Shaylin A. Perrier Ross. <laughs> Carrie Hatfield, a foreign language teacher at Churchland High School with 24 years of educational experience. Ms. Hatfield stated that one of her sweetest moments she has experienced this school year was from a senior who lamented, I had just hoped to spend some time in her classroom this year as opposed to Zoom. It reminded her of the words of Antoine de saint exupéry the little prince. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves and it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. She adamantly states, may my students never stop explaining things to me. Carrie Hatfield. <laughs> Michael Horton is a math teacher at Churchland Middle School. And he, he's also a middle school teacher of the year finalist with four years of experience. Go Michael. Mr. Horton believes that teaching is not, the only, is not only a career or profession that someone chooses, but also a gift and a calling that one has to possess in order to flourish. 
He strives on a daily basis to make sure that he is providing the best learning experience possible for all of his students. He addresses his students, his student learning modalities, connects content to real life situations, and establishes clear and open lines of communication with both his students and their parents. We have Michael Horton. Kimberly Gardner, a preschool teacher at Churchland Preschool Center with 23 years of teaching experience. Ms. Gardner believes that positive relationships are essential in establishing a warm, nurturing learning environment where children are engaged in developmentally appropriate activities. If you were to go into her classroom, you would see her students engaging in activities that encourage curiosity, play, and exploration. We have Kimberly Gardner. <laughs> Nettie Hobson, a second grade teacher at Churchland Primary and Intermediate School, has 20 years of educational experience. Ms. Hobson believes that in order for students to learn, they need to feel safe and respected. She states that you must start by building relationships with your students and create a family environment in the classroom. After building relationships, then you can set high expectations for the students, both academically and socially. I give you Nettie Hobson. Brenda Joseph, she is a math teacher at Craddock Middle School and also a middle school teacher of the year finalist with 19 years of experience. <laughs> Ms. Joseph believes that teaching is a calling and it does not have to be in a formal educational setting. She believes that teaching can take place in a classroom a tutoring session, or anywhere the wisdom you, can, you have can be imparted on others for their benefit. If you were to visit Ms. Joseph's classroom, you would see that her activities incorporate a variety of learning styles and encourage cooperative learning. We have Brenda Joseph. Next, we have Elysia Schweitzer, kindergarten teacher at Douglas Park Elementary School with three years of experience. Ms. Schweitzer believes that education should help students to succeed far beyond the classroom. She believes that students should be heard, understood, recognized, and valued. If anything, her students teach her every day. The students teach her about the importance of still being inquisitive, goofy, and taking a moment of interest and exploring that to see where it leads. We have Elysia Schweitzer. <laughs> Carissa Billings, a special education teacher at Hodges Manor Elementary School has 22 years of experience. <laughs> Mrs. Billings believes that students must be taken care of physically, emotionally, and socially in order to gain a good education. She strives to ensure that her students see school and herself as a safe space to express themselves and their feelings. She believes in encouraging students that they have something to offer the world and providing them with opportunities to explore that idea. We have Carissa Billings. <laughs> Next up, we have Kristen Brooke Archambault. She teaches social studies at IC Norcom High School and she is a high school teacher of the year finalist with 14 years of experience. 
Ms. Archambeau believes that teaching is a work of heart. She firmly believes that teaching requires lifelong learning and the willingness to formulate and put into action a plan B at all times. As a history teacher, Ms. Anshambo believes that it is not her job to teach students what to think, but rather how to think. We have Kristen Brooke Anshambo. Ms. Patricia Gray is a first grade teacher at James Hurst Elementary School with 20 years of teaching experience. Ms. Gray believes that it is important to be flexible and willing to adapt to changes in education and the environment in which it is presented. She believes that this has never been more apparent than now with school being taught virtually. She encourages deeper thinking by asking questions that pushes students to think on their own. She also models the thinking to show students what the steps in thinking look and sound like. Ms. Patricia Gray. Next, we have Carolyn Meehan. She's a third grade teacher at John Tyler Elementary School with 12 years of experience. Ms. Meehan states that she gets joy from teaching her students to value themselves and others around them. She does this through spotlighting. She gives them, gives time each week to focus on one student and his or her interests. She believes that it assigns worth to a student. He or she feels important and acknowledged because of the time and attention they are given. Carolyn Meehan. We now have Mayumi Zepoteza. She's a special education teacher at Lakeview Elementary School and an elementary school teacher of the year finalist with three years of teaching experience. Ms. Zapoteza believes that she is a role model for her students. She believes that her purpose in teaching is to inspire students to become more capable, responsible, and productive citizens who in their own way would be future contributors to a better society. She holds all of her students accountable for their own learning. She believes that it is her responsibility to help her students attain some level of independence. She also believes that successful teachers show compassion, patience, and enthusiasm, not only to the students, but to the school and community and parents. Mrs. Zapoteza. <laughs> Zena White. <laughs> Ms. White is a preschool teacher at Mount Hermon Preschool Center with 32 years of teaching experience. You go girl. Ms. White believes that she is here to nurture her students' desire to learn and to enhance their knowledge while encouraging them to believe in themselves. Being able to pass the light of knowledge onto a child has been her greatest contribution. The glimmer that she sees in their eyes has a way of letting her know when she has truly connected her teaching to their learning. Ms. Zena White. Ms. Miller, Melissa Miller. She is a special education teacher at Olive Branch Preschool Center, and she is also an elementary school teacher of the year finalist with 18 years of teaching experience. Ms. Miller believes that children learn through very intricate and well-defined work, their play. The children are given access to materials and provided opportunities to explore, get messy, move, and learn in ways that are natural to young learners 
and is initiated by their own interests and development. Ms. Miller. Next we have Nicole Page, a fifth grade teacher at Parkview Elementary School with 15 years of experience. Ms. Page believes that each child is fearfully and wonderfully made in his own unique, uh, in his, uh, is his or her own uniqueness, which makes each one of her students special. She encourages her students to take risks and know that it is okay to make mistakes, for mistakes allow thinking to happen. If you go into Ms. Page's classroom, you will see her using the te teaching technique, I do, we do, you do. This allows her to understand if the students are practicing correctly. She also believes that building a positive relationship and using good communication skills helps yield critical thinkers. Nicole Page. Jordan Lemon, a first grade teacher at Simonsdale Elementary School with six years of teaching experience. Ms. Lemon believes in developing strong individual relationships with her students. She enjoys her students' sweet, quirky personalities and seeing them grow so much in the foundational year of the first grade. I present to you Jordan Lemon. Next, we have Allison Hartung, a third grade teacher at Victory Elementary School. And she is also an elementary school teacher of the year finalist with seven years of teaching experience. When Ms. Hartung thinks about her role as an early childhood educator, she believes that education involves nurturing and building relationships. She devotes a substantial amount of time getting to know each of her students. She makes an effort to attend events that they may be a part of within their community. And she also strives to regularly discuss topics that they may be of interest to her students and familiarize herself with unfamiliar topics to better understand the individual needs of her students. We have Allison Hartung. Next up, we have Carolyn Kearns, a fourth grade teacher at West Haven Elementary School. She has 22 years of teaching experience. Ms. Kearns believes that best practices in educating students include a positive learning environment, parent communication, class routines, timely feedback, formative assessments, and reteaching with second chances. She encourages students with positive reinforcement and positive parental contact. She believes that these best practices foster a positive, structured learning environment. Carolyn Kearns. Ms. Sakina Ash, a technology resource teacher at William E. Waters Middle School. With, she is coming with seven years of teaching experience. Ms. Ash states that students have to Maslow before they can bloom. She has learned over her educational journey that academics are secondary to building genuine relationships. She also believes that good communication remains a pillar in education. 
Ms. Ash believes that it is her responsibility to ensure the teachers who she ser ser services are prepared to give their students authentic learning experiences. Sakina Ash. And our last teacher of the year, but as they say, they saved the best for last, Charlene Mitchell Faulkner, a math teacher at Woodrow Wilson High School and a high school teacher of the year finalist with 12 years of teaching experience. Ms. Mitchell Faulkner believes that building relationships with students is important. Her ability to build relationships with students assists her with getting the students to trust her and believe that she can make math relevant to their lives. She believes that it is important to maintain a structured classroom environment where each student learns something new every day. We have Charlene Mitchell Faulkner. I would like to extend a congratulations to all teachers of the year. You have definitely deserved this honor considering the challenges we've faced this year. Thank you and I wish you the best. <clears throat> Next we have Dr. Anita Wynn. Good evening, everyone. I have the distinct pleasure of introducing our 2021 division winners. Uh, but before we get into that, I do want to acknowledge that our teachers are the backbone of everything we do. It's not the classroom that matters. It's the teacher. And you've proven that over and over this, these past couple of years as we've dealt with the pandemic and you've remained committed and you have provided uh, excellent education to our students and you've weathered many challenges. And I feel so honored to serve with you as a leader in this school division because our teachers, I would put you up against anyone, anyone. Thank you. So, I'm now honored to introduce you to the following division winners for the 2021 Teacher of the Year. Our 2021 Elementary School Teacher of the Year is a grade three teacher with seven years of experience and six years in Portsmouth. Congratulations, Ms. Allison Harton. Our 2021 Middle School Teacher of the Year is a mathematics teacher. Four years of experience and four years in Portsmouth. Congratulations, Mr. Michael Horton. <laughs> Churchland Middle School. And our 2021 High School Teacher of the Year for Portsmouth. Yes. 
Social Studies Department Chair. Congratulations, Ms. Kristen Archambo. I see Norcom. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations to our three teacher twenty twenty one division teachers of the year. These three teachers have shown that they are demonstrating on a daily basis exceptional qualities in helping our students and staff meet their successes. Let their talents continue to empower students and colleagues every day. Again, join me in honoring these division winners and congratulations. You may be seated. If we could give another round of applause for all of our division winners. We will now have the acknowledgement of the 2020 Teachers of the Year, the superintendent's message to the honorees, and the presentation of the Portsmouth 2021 Teacher of the Year from Dr. Eli Bracey III, our division superintendent. Please welcome him as he comes. Good evening. It is a thrill to be here today in the same room and seeing everyone face to face. That deserves a round of applause. First, let me, sh let me share my sincere congratulations to you. This honor is not only indicative of your work in the classroom over the past year, but also your innovation, flexibility, and your professionalism during one of the greatest challenges we faced in public education. It will be easy to focus on those challenges. However, the greatest part of the story is in the hurdles. Each and every one of you in this room showed your schools, your colleagues, your students, and your communities how we would not just survive this pandemic, but we would continue to shine bright during it. Certainly, this year's awards have a deeper meaning this year and carry a significant importance to them. However, as we know, being named Teacher of the Year at any point in your career is a tremendous honor and deserves to be celebrated. As such, before we get to unveiling this not tonight's big winners, I do want to take a moment to highlight and commemorate the 2020 Teachers of the Year. Our celebration last year was to take place just two weeks after schools were unexpectedly shut down for a year. So they never got a true moment in the sun. We invited last year's winners to join us here tonight. If I could ask if you were one of the 2020 Teacher of the Year winners, please stand and, and let's all give them a round of applause. Thank you, and thank you for your hard work and dedication. While I'm about to announce our Citywide Teacher of the Year, please know that in my book, you're all perfect representation of what teaching is all about. Heart, passion, and devotion to the success of every child in our city. This year, though, our Citywide Teacher of the Year has gone above and beyond in so many ways, including ensuring students continue to feel connected to their classmates throughout the school closure by producing the school's custom television program the entire year. In the classroom, 
Our Teacher of the Year works to build students' engagement with curriculum by connecting mathematical concepts to real life situations they're facing while also making content interactive through songs, rap, music videos, dances, or even making time for their own artwork. Almost every day that I teach, our citywide teacher wrote, I strive to make sure that I am providing the best learning experience possible for all of my students. Teachers who are called go beyond the academic needs of their students. They realize that their profession is not only to teach students, but to mold young people of the current generation into positive and productive citizens of the present as well as future. I could not have said it better myself. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight I'm honored to share with you that the 2021 Portsmouth Public Schools Citywide Teacher of the Year is What did I do with it? <laughs> Churchland Middles, Michael Horton. <laughs> Mr. Horton, please come forward and accept this recognition. I keep, t I keep telling people I'm a man of few words, but <laughs> they keep asking me to speak, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, but no, I just wanted to say uh, thank you. Thank you to the committee. Thank you to everyone, you know, that selected me. Um, I'm just, you know, humbled and honored by this experience and, you know, truly grateful to God for giving me this opportunity. Um, but, you know, uh, as I always say, you know, I don't do these things for recognition, you know, it, because it is a passion of mine. You know, I put it every day um, into action because I truly want to see my students succeed. So uh, thank you so much. Mr. Horton, Mr. Horton, Mr. Horton. Hold on, got one more. Let's give it up one more time for Mr. Horton. We will now have the proclamation from the city of Portsmouth by the Honorable Shannon E. Glover, the mayor of the city of Portsmouth. Thank you, Dr. Walker. And before I get into this wonderful recognition for Mr. Horton, I wanted to say a few words to the audience. As Dr. Bracey alluded to, I wanna thank you on behalf of the Portsmouth City Council for your professionalism, for your excellence, and your attention to detail in taking care of our children. Last year at the height of the pandemic, uh, as a council member, I became very concerned and I called Dr. Bracey. And one question that I asked him was this, is everybody okay? Do you have what you need? Because as a leader and a public servant, it's important that you know that you have the support and the encouragement and the commitment to making sure you all have everything to do your job. And you did it in an excellent way in our community and our city is grateful and better for it. Now, to the man of the hour. Whereas the Portsmouth Public Schools Teacher of the Year 2021, 2021 is Mr. Michael Horton, a math teacher at Churchland Middle School who has devoted his heart and soul to the teaching profession with our school system and whereas his four years of teaching are marked by dedicated service to the youth of our community. His philosophy of teaching is that it is a profession, but also a calling. 
and one must be gifted to flourish to produce fruitful results by not only teaching students, but molding the young people of the current generation into positive, productive citizens of the present and the future, and whereas, along with countless professional development activities, Mr. Horton is very involved within the community and his church. He is the Churchland Middle School Math Department Chair and a member of the Virginia Council of Teachers of Mathematics and Portsmouth Education Association and Whereas, Mr. Horton strives to provide the best learning experience possible, addressing students' learning modalities, connecting content to real life situations by providing songs or music videos. I need some of those videos, man. Diagrams or pictures and incorporate gallery walks or create dances helping to ensure students are learning on their level and whereas, because of his love and passion as a teacher, Mr. Horton has earned the admiration and high regard of those he has come into contact with and the affection of his students and colleagues. We are proud to call him a friend. Now, therefore I, Shannon E. Glover, Mayor of the City of Portsmouth, Virginia, do hereby proclaim Wednesday, May 19th, 2021, as Mr. Michael Horton Day. In Portsmouth, in Portsmouth, and I urge our citizens, teachers, students to join me in honoring this faithful and ded dedicated educator. In witness whereof, on behalf of the Portsmouth City Council, I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of Portsmouth, Virginia to be affixed this 19th day of May, 2021. Congratulations, sir. Good evening. My name is Jessica Duran, and I'm the Executive Director of Human Resources, and I have the pleasure of bringing tonight's program to a close. But before I do, I do want to uh, take the time to say congratulations to Mr. Horton and all of our winners tonight. Let's give them one more round of applause. Something kind of funny is I was sitting in the audience before the program began and your parents were behind me and we had to ask them to move over. <laughs> and I could tell your dad was a little upset about that and I wanted to tell you so bad, sir, you gonna wanna be front and center. But I couldn't tell you <laughs> at the time. Um, so I'm glad that you got a good seat so that you could see your son be announced as the citywide teacher of the year. Congratulations for that. So before we close tonight, I, I just wanted to uh, thank, provide some thank yous to uh, people who have been in attendance tonight. First, I wanted to thank all of the family members and friends who came out to support our teachers of the year. Thank you for your patience and for all of you do all that you do to support them as they endeavor in this important work. Thank you to the administrators who are in the audience who support these teachers daily and provide instructional leadership. Thank you to our city council and school board and superintendent's cabinet for your attendance tonight. And thank you to everyone who had a hand in making tonight's program come together. And that includes our Teacher of the Year Selection Committee, our MC tonight, Dr. Walker, Churchland High School for hosting, Auxiliary Services for sanitizing the facility to keep us all safe. Thank you to our Department of Communications, who has recorded tonight's event so that you can go back and watch it later. 
Um, and also, thank you to the Department of Human Resources for all of your hard work in finding a way to honor our Teachers of the Year in a special way. <laughs> Lastly, I want to say thank you to our Teachers of the Year for working tirelessly day after day, even through a worldwide pandemic, and giving of yourselves to the students of Portsmouth. We could never thank you for the important contributions that you make to our city and to our future. Thank you to everyone who came out. Be safe and have a good evening. <laughs>